Hey guys, Strong Onyx Warfare here, and today we're looking at um, a Geek Geekbench um, test. So this Geekbench 4, and we're going to do it on the CT Warp 7 by Boost Mobile. So let's see how that goes. Some of my subscribers wanted me to do this test, so so here's some of it. Um, so it was a CT um, N9519 uh, Android 6.0.1 ARM Qualcomm 1.0. Uh, 2 1 gigahertz and memory 1.8 uh, 7 gigahertz so let's run the benchmark and see how it does so let that just load and uh, we'll get back to it when it's fully downloaded alright so <clears throat> so far we're at 74 percent and as you can see it's been roughly 10 minutes so I'm pause it again till we get near. And there you go, guys. Those are the results, as you can see. Sorry, it took so long. It, was, it almost took 11 minutes for this to finish up. So as you re, um, you can see on the single core, it got a 516 score. Multi core, it got a 1342. So as you can see, single core, your device versus others like a Galaxy S. Let's see what else it can compare to. Again, 516 is pretty low. Doesn't even go lower than anything. Wow. Let's see, multi-core, Jesus Christ. Still doesn't compare to anything really. Um, so of course, you know, for a hundred dollars, guys, this phone, you know, does pretty pretty well, but. Sorry, I was eating, um, you know, like I said, it took over 10 minutes, so I was able to actually cook some food, um, eat it, and uh, yeah, so I was still chewing my last bite when this finished, but did want to do this, guys, for you. So, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe um, to my channel, and a lot more to see. So, this is the CT Warp 7 by Boost Mole, and those are the results of, by, uh, benchmark results of the Geekbench 4.